won't disclose that it's haunted, it could come back to haunt you. When you buy a home, the seller is required to disclose physical problems on the property. Mm -hmm. Things like, say, a leaky roof or mold in the basement as options there. But as one Kentucky family found out, there's no requirement to disclose an event that happened inside, such as a violent death. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan spoke with the family and realtors about what you need to know and ask before you close the deal. We are dumbfounded. The Holden family just got the keys to this house in Falmouth. We moved completely moved in yesterday. Unaware. This is a shock to us. That a newborn died inside. The mother is now facing charges. Me being a mother of two myself has me emotional wreck. <laughs> the Holden's new home has what's called a stigma, a property that has been impacted by an event psychologically, but not physically. Something that would affect the quality of life. Things like murder, paranormal activity, even tourists stopping by if the house was in a famous TV show. And there's no law right now that says you have to disclose that there's a stigma. Not in the state of Ohio. Or Kentucky or Indiana. Only a few states nationally require it. I would recommend to every seller that if there is something that would affect the buyer's desire or willingness to purchase that home, that it should be disclosed. While it's not required by law. If you don't disclose that it's haunted, it could come back to haunt you. It could lead to trouble for the seller down the road. It really truly is the duty of the buyer to do the research regarding a lot of the facts surrounding that home. So how do you know if someone died inside a home you want to buy? Of course, there's a website for it. The concept is, is as simple as it sounds. Diedinhouse.com. Roy Condry created it after unknowingly buying a haunted rental. Now he's ran more than one million reports. Death at a home, especially a, a tragic death, does impact the value depending on you know the story, and it does impact the time it takes to sell. So why isn't that considered something that has to be disclosed? Something the Holden family We're shocked. Which has happened. We called the mortgage company and the mortgage company was just like, washed our hands with it and they just said, you are you gotta keep the house. So we're going to change that narrative. We're gonna raise our kids here and make it a happy home. Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.